hey guys hope you are doing well so welcome back to this update guys uh, tourism and wildlife cabinet secretary dr alfred mutua on friday 8th december 2023 extended a generous hand of welcome to all kenyans granting them free entry into all national parks to commemorate kenya turning 60 that was on jampuri day so on jampuri day we were supposed to be accessing all the national parks free so i got a chance to go there guys to nairobi national park and i wanted to share with you what went down was it? guys this is now the entrance to national park you can see nairobi national park and uh, we are waiting to get in. You can see there are so many cars get going in and also people are here waiting to be allowed inside. So apparently guys, I've uh, communicated with some few people over here and some of them came here thinking that they are just going to access the national park like, uh, like free. What I mean is they didn't think of maybe uh, paying for a car to take you there because you can just walk to the park where there are animals just like that unless you are going to this uh, to the animal orphanage where uh, those animals are caged or uh, maybe you are going to Nairobi safari walk which is also just next over here but now I'm at the entrance of animal orphanage the animal orphanage here guys Nairobi animal orphanage and um, I, I want to really focus much on uh, am I going to pay something so let's get closer I'm almost getting to the entrance guys and um, we are going to find out I'm recording everything so in case of anything you are going to see it by yourself yeah so I'm here and apparently what I'm being asked for is my national ID only national ID without the national ID you are, you are not able to access uh, the, the, the orphanage unless you are underage okay yeah so apparently guys there is nothing I've paid totally nothing and you can see how people are uh, many here people are many already and it's early in the morning let me check my time for you right now it's 8 30 in the morning and um, people are here guys this, i'm trying to figure out how this place is going to be crowded guys maybe in the next four hours or even five hours i'm very much sure that the place is going to be very very crowded yeah but uh, we are here at least today uh, we are accessing it free guys the last time I came, I paid some, I can't even remember the exact amount that that I paid, but I remember they don't allow cash. They always uh, want you to pay via maybe M-Pesa. Yeah, they don't allow you to pay them using cash. Yeah, I still remember that. But today, it's absolutely free. So I'm here and we want to see if we are going to see some animals. The last time I was here, here was... Um, that was around two or three months ago and the place was having a lot a lot a lot of animals so here these uh, these are lioness yeah these are lioness there are two by the way over here i don't know if all of them are lioness or maybe there is a lion let me get closer guys and uh, see it they are like all of them are lioness so uh, they are caged you can see they are caged and we have this fence over here so you just can't uh, uh, be able to get so much closer into the, uh, with them because if you get so closer you can be injured that's why they are caged yeah so we have uh, this is a warthog if i'm not wrong let me see it correctly yeah this is a warthog so i think because it's harmless that is why it I've tried to talk to some people here, guys, uh, to know what their expectations were, but they they don't want to be recorded or to show their face on the camera. So what I'm getting from them is that um, they were expecting to find so many animals here. Like the play, they they were thinking the place is just full of animals, you know. But uh, for them, that is not the case. Yeah, for now, for them, that is not the case. Which uh, for me, I've been here before and. Uh, the place was having the animals were many i don't know whether they have been released back to the national park already because uh, when maybe if an animal 
is sick, they always put it under treatment until the animal gets better. And then after that, now if they are the animal is okay, they release it back to the national park. That is uh, what the information that I'm getting from one of the people who are working here. So I don't know if they have released some of the animals back to the airport. That is what I'm not sure about. So right now, guys, this is now we are out of the animal orphanage and we are back to Nairobi Safari Walk. If you've been to Nairobi Safari Walk before, and I hope uh, you know this area, how it looks like, okay? Here also, uh, uh, I just entered free. I'm just showing my ID, and then I get inside here for free. I haven't been told to pay anything, guys. So this is the Saf Nairobi Safari Walk. All of them, if you are coming here on a day where you have to pay, then you'll, already, you'll be paying for the Nairobi orphanage and also come and also pay for Nairobi Safari Walk, okay? So today we are lucky and uh, this is, in fact, this is even the entrance. I'm, I've just gotten in. And one thing I love about uh, Nairobi Safari Walk is just how it is quite beautiful, like it's quite beautiful. And uh, if you're this person who loves taking photos, then you are going to see guys uh, some places that uh, can give you the best photography that you always want yeah it looks quite beautiful and also it's having animals that we are so just watch the video to the end and drop a comment let me know what you think about uh, these two places that I'm, I'm showing you guys yeah and uh, if you've been here before let me know your experience by the way have you been to Nairobi Safari Walk Drop a comment, let me know how your experience was. The place is so clean and I love it. This is just so beautiful. So here you are going to find um, different kind of trees, different kind of species, guys. And it's just so beautiful. For those who love nature, the nature lovers, this is your place now. This is a Most of the animals, guys, can be found on uh, animal orphanage. That is where uh, the last time I visited, there were many animals, but compared to today, no, 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 today, maybe there were a few or maybe um, I've just come too early when the animals are still not out yet. But if you want the best view or the perfect view of animals, then you better go to the open field, that is the Nairobi National Park itself. That is where you are going to see them very, very close to, to you and you'll be able to enjoy a lot. So compared to today, I can really say that, uh, yes, I've enjoyed myself. I've seen some animals, but uh, not as I expected. Yep. But uh, so far, so good. I wanted to confirm to you guys that indeed it was a free uh, entry. The entry was free and there's nothing that you were asked to pay. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much. Please consider subscribing and uh, also share my video and hit on the bell so you don't miss any of these updates that I am giving out here. So this is how the Nairobi Safari Walk is looking like. From the time I entered here, I think I've seen like four or five animals. I've seen ch um, a cheetah, but it was uh, quite far and it was sleeping. I could not uh, zoom it to you guys. Yeah, so if you want to really enjoy this area, then come when uh, that time when they are feeding the animals like uh, the lions. I think I don't know what time exactly they do feed them. That is when you are really going to enjoy your time over here. So far, so good. Thank you so much for watching. We are going to meet again in the next episode.